histogram. A frequency histogram is a bar graph that represents the frequency distribution of a data set. A histogram has the following properties. A. The horizontal scale is quantitative and measures the data values. B. The vertical scale measures the frequencies of the classes. C. Consecutive bars must touch. So all, using all those three properties, we want to construct the histogram, especially a frequency histogram using the previous example. You remember this table from the previous video. In order to construct the histogram, you need to find the class boundaries. The class boundary actually generate those each class bar touching each other. So class boundary, we want to adjust each class range value and then make sure those two classes has common value. For example, now the upper limit of first, first class is 15 and then lower limit of second class is 16. We want to find their mean value then it's going to be the same value here. So if you calculate mean of 15 and 16, then you will get 15.5, right? Similarly, between 27 and 28, you will do exactly same step. Then you will get 27.5. Okay, then let's think about how to find class boundary range. So, in other words, how could you make 15 to 15.5 and 16 to 15.5 and 27 to 27.5 also 28 to 27.5 If you think you combine 0.5 on upper limit value and minus 0.5 from the lower limit value, you are thinking correctly. So, if I uh, complete this class boundary, you will get those values. So, first class, uh, first class boundary will be 3.5 to 15.5. Uh, as we uh, discussed, so I calculate using this or this way. So if you have those class boundary value, then you have a correct value. Good. So then let's start drawing the histogram. So from the lecture note, the horizontal scale is quantitative and measures the data value. In this case, the horizontal scale must be class boundary so it is up to you where you begin but i recommend just make maybe one unit away and then that value will be the least class boundary value which is 3.5 and next one is 15.5 and 27.5 because as you see this upper limit value and lower low limit value they are repeating so i didn't repeat twice and just write 15.5 just once and then next one 27.5 next one 39.5 So in the 51.5 and 63.5 and 75.5 and then 87.5.
And then the second property, the vertical scale measures the frequency of the classes, right? So therefore, this one become frequency value. So go to frequency table. Now you need to look for which one is the maximum frequency value. When I see that, the 14 is maximum frequency value. So I'm going to make scale from 0 to 14. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 like that. Okay. Then now we start drawing the histogram. So the first class, there are four frequency value. So just to make four and then using the box like this. Okay. And second class, we have eight frequency, which means this go up until eight. So as you see, two uh, bar graphs are touching each other and then third one is 14 and a a four four so I can make eight eight and then four four and Inside of each bar, you may put midpoint value, which is 9.5, 20.5, like that. So, this is 9.5, 21.5, and 33.5, 45.5. So, 33.5, and 45.5, and 57.5. And then 69.5 and then 81.5. So in this case, the, the maximum frequency value is 14. So it's easy to scale and then just um, look at the bar and then make a measure easily. But sometimes we cannot make uh, each unit scale. So sometimes I just make uh, every 5, every 10. Then frequency value maybe 7 or 13 like that, then it is a little bit hard to indicate exact frequency value bar. So, you better put actually frequency value on top of each bar, so which is 4, 8, 14, 8, 8, 4, 4. Of course, this case, you don't have to because uh, it's, it is easy, easy, easy enough to read it, each bar. But sometimes, because scale is not unicircle, uniscale, so you need to actually estimate each bar's location, then you may just put um, frequency value on top of each bar, then make sure you uh, what you indicate. Okay?